Well, hello FMEers. Um, it's been quite a while since I did one of these videos, so uh, I hope you're having a great summer. Um, and don't forget FME 2021.1 released yesterday, so um, give that a go if you haven't tried it yet. Uh, what I wanted to show today was um, the HTML report, and I figured out a way, I was playing about with this and figured out a way to get pop-up um, values on there. So I thought, hey, I'll show you how that works. And uh, you can see what you think about that and maybe use this technique. Um, it's very interesting because you can put HTML inside the content of a, um, a table in your HTML report generator. Um, and that's one of the things to show. So what I've got here is a workspace. It just runs and we get basically a bunch of information about a neighborhood in the city of Vancouver. So this is Kitsilano. We know the population, uh, we know the number of addresses, and then we have a list of parks, which is rather a long list of parks in there. So when I generate this HTML report, what I get is something like this, which is fine, but this is a bit difficult to read and it's a bit, uh, a bit lengthy as well, and we don't really want that in there. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'm just going to copy this from another workspace I've got uh, here. So let me see. I'm going to put an attribute manager down. So what I'm going to do is create an attribute and I'm going to call it um, parks table for example. And in there, I am going to put this content. And it's basically a couple of uh, HTML tags. Um, and the thing I want to go in there is the list of parks that I've created, uh, like so. Uh, click OK, that bit's set up. And then I'm going to go into the HTML report generator and I'm going to add custom HTML into there. And open the text editor and I'm going to, again, I'm going to copy this in from the other workspace. I'll make this available so you can, um, you can use it without having to sit and look through this video and figure out uh, what goes where. So, this is a bit of custom HTML, and basically it sort of gets plugged into the top of the HTML that's being written by FME. Uh, and you can do scripting and all sorts of things in here. But really, I'm just putting this div tag in and a style, basically. We're creating a style, um, and it's going to give us a pop-up box. So I'm going to move that to the top of the list. I think probably because it wants to be in the... Uh, the top of the HTML um, and then instead of parks list it's going to be the parks table so let's run that and see what happens so that's the output let's see what difference it makes okay hover for info it says does the hover work Oh, yes, it did for a second. I think I know one of the reasons why. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we can see there's a problem with this one for some reason. And I think I know the reason. It's probably got a... Um, it's got an ampersand character in there. Um, but anyway, we can see that works. Not particularly well in this case, but I can, again, I can show you why that is. And also it's still in a horizontal list, whereas we're probably better off the vertical one. So what I'm gonna do here is put a string replacer and in the parks list, I'm gonna replace all of the re is it return characters. No, it was comma. All the commas with 
the tag for a new line in HTML. So that should solve that problem. Um, the other one I've got to do is try and figure out what went wrong with the, uh, so I think it was the ampersand and I'm going to change it to an and. Okay, let's see what we get now. Oops, wrong button. Okay, I'm just going to go there a sec. There it goes, it's finished. There we go, that's better. And there we go, I can hover over that for info about that and I can, that will give me the list of parks. Uh, I can change that instead of saying hover for info, I can change it to say um, hover for parks. I can also put a header in there, for example, um, I think I could just say bold text uh, list of parks like so. Um, yeah, and I can run that and again. Yeah, that didn't quite work how I expected, did it? Let me figure, what did I do wrong there? Oh, yeah, it probably shouldn't go in there, should it? It should go into the parks list. So I need to do that and the parks list. Let's see if that works any better. There we go. Oh, I should have put a BR tag in there as well. Um, so the interesting thing about it is where that pops up on the screen and I've had real problems when it was too far to the right uh, and um, if I was trying to hover in the same place that the pop-up would appear then that was a problem as well. So what you can do is, uh, let's see, it's in the HTML that we put in there. We can go into here and we can give it different padding, we can move it to a different location you could change the position from fixed to absolute or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I could say it's 250 pixels or 350 pixels from the right or and so on. Um, and what did I need to do here? Oh yeah, the list of parks and the BR tag and that just... Uh, Anyway, so that's basically a way to get a pop-up window in a HTML report in FME. You can see yeah, I moved it a bit more to the left this time because I said it should be further in from the right. So you can position that um, sort of tooltip hover wherever you like um, and format it however you like. So there we go. So that's made my table a lot cleaner to read. And the hover tag, I think, works in most, I think it works in all web browsers. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Um, I, like I said, I'll make a copy of this available to you. And, uh, yeah. And, yeah, I hope you're having a great summer. And uh, we'll do some more videos like this soon, I hope. Okay. Bye, folks.